Good morning. I'm sitting out here on my back deck and honestly I've waited until late enough in the morning now that if you listen you might hear wind chimes and you can probably hear some work my neighbors having done in their yard across the street um, and you might hear some traffic noises um, but we're not hearing the birds sing right now. Birds love to sing especially first thing in the morning. Have you ever noticed that? They have beautiful songs that just fill the air. Sometimes it's amazingly loud back here. And that got me wondering, do birds know how to sing when they are born? If you research that question, you will find out the answer is actually no. Unlike cats who are born knowing how to meow and dogs who are born knowing how to bark, birds may be able to tweet and make some noises but they they learn to sing and to create um, calls or patterns in their pitches from their parents and other birds and some of the songs can be quite complicated now why do birds sing birds use those patterns kind of note patterns to talk to each other they can warn other birds about danger they can share with each other where to find food and when it comes to a big full song birds can sing for different reasons if you're living in North America and Europe and you hear birds singing it's most likely a boy bird and he is usually trying to impress a girl <laughs> but if you live in Australia or the tropics the bird you hear singing is most likely a girl and she is usually putting on a show but sometimes birds sing even when they're alone you hear them they've started <laughs> so cool even when they're alone they'll sing and scientists think that they do it for the same reason we do for the pure joy of singing God has given us so many things to be thankful for. The wonders of creation, the blessings of people who love us, the beauty of bird song. And it's enough to fill our hearts with song, so why not sing a few praises? You don't have to worry about how you sound or if the notes are just right. Sing for the joy of praising the one who gives you so many reasons to sing. Psalm 95 verse 1 says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. There are lots and lots of scripture verses about the importance of praising God, of lifting our voices in song. And it is, you can worship even if you don't sing a note. It's more about your heart and your heart's attitude of praise. Now, praising God is not something he needs you to do for him. The birds and all of creation stand as a testament to how strong and amazing God is. Our praise cannot add to his greatness. He is great. He deserves our praise. And it helps us to focus on him so that all of our worries and fears can become strangely dim. Our praise just lines us back up under God's authority. So we remember that he is in control and it helps us have hope. It helps us not to worry and fear. And it gives us that joy that God promises us in his word we can have. Praising him does honor him and it is right and good to do it. But God is so good. He doesn't just let it stop there. Praising him blesses us. It's amazing. <laughs> Sing like a bird. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your creation. We thank you for the birds that sing. Today, put a new song in our hearts and mouths. It is our honor to praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.